begin with meteorologist Cat Campbell. And this threat likely to last another four hours through the evening. The greatest concern in our southern counties, that's where we've seen severe storms moving through this afternoon. Even though we have some rain on the radar, it's not going to be a washout for trick-or-treating. So we're here to help you plan around some of the rain. A tornado warning is in effect until 1.45 p.m. We want you to go into the lowest level of your home, the most interior room. And we're using the dual Doppler 5000 radar storm tracking tools to let you know when the storm will be where you live. It is certainly beginning to look like Christmas. Christmas out here in downtown Raleigh. The natural wonders of Iceland never seem to end. Welcome to Yokel Sarlon Glacier Lagoon. The band is here. The team will be coming before we know it. The cheerleaders will be out here soon. There are three distinct trends that I've noticed on the new model data that's come in this afternoon. The first, the system is stronger. The National Hurricane Center is using the word catastrophic to describe what's unfolding on the west coast of Florida right now. By the time Santa arrives, temperature are going to be closer to 50, so definitely dress in layers. I want to show you what's coming your way. If it doesn't look like this outside where you live right now, it will. If you do need to run out, run an errand this afternoon. Try to just get it done early if you do want to avoid driving in the rain or dealing with the rain. This is a good first ride to go on because you can scope out where the best games are, where the best rides are, where the best food is from up here. Half of all U.S. deaths from tropical systems are due to storm surge. Storm surge can travel miles inland, destroying structures in its path. And this is why you need to evacuate if told to do so. Just a few inches of water in your home can knock out the power. Water rises, furniture, and other objects begin to float. Three feet of water will force you to look for higher ground. This may be a second floor or maybe even an attic. But if the water rises to six feet, this is definitely a life-threatening situation. The water would be above my head, and sharp, dangerous objects, electrically charged objects, could be floating around in the water. Water levels up to nine feet would be all the way up to the ceiling in most homes. This is why you must listen to local officials and evacuate when told to do so. So many people hoping that they can find the right time to trick or treat tonight, Kat. And the earlier you can get out, the better. And that's because we've got just some spotty showers on the radar right now. But there's going to be more rain on the radar. The coverage is going to be growing. We're going to be seeing more green as we get toward 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight, especially. And then the overnight hours, that's when we have the best chance for rain. Starting at 11 o'clock, lasting through early tomorrow morning, it's a 60% chance for not only rain, but the chance of some isolated thunder storms as well. We do have some heavier rain moving through Fayetteville right now. Parts of Cumberland County north of the Triangle, just some spotty showers, even a little light rain around Durham. All of this activity moving to the north and east, but it's more scattered right now. We have a more solid line of rain off to the west, and by the time it gets here later on tonight, we could even see some embedded thunderstorms. So definitely try to dodge some of those showers and get out and about as early as possible for trick-or-treating this evening. You can see some spotty light rain for 5 o'clock, even 6 o'clock tonight. But once we get past 6 o'clock, I think that's when the radar is going to be more colorful. We have some red showing up, perhaps some heavier rain by 8, 9 o'clock. And both our in-house run of future casts, which is the model I'm showing here, and other high-resolution models are in pretty good agreement that 8, 9 o'clock is when the rain could impact trick-or-treating around the triangle. Once we get past that overnight, we've got scattered showers and storms. And 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, you may be waking up to some rain early in the morning. I think once we get to the morning commute, most of the rain should be east of the Triangle, but that would put Rocky Mount Wilson up into Roanoke Rapids, Goldsboro in the zone where we could have some of those lingering showers for the morning commute. But for the most part, the rain should be done by 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then we should gradually see some clearing of the cloud cover. So expect improving weather throughout the day. But check in with meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner before you leave the house tomorrow morning. There will be some communities where I think that the kids will need their rain gear at the bus stop, and I think that'll especially be along and east of I-95. By 10 a.m., still mostly cloudy. Once we get to lunchtime, we should begin to see some clearing from west to east, 72, and high temperatures tomorrow in the mid-70s. Temperature-wise, certainly no issues this week. Here's our jet stream pattern that's in place today. We have a dip in the jet stream, especially in this location, and that's leading to some unstable air. But once we get to the end of the week, check out our jet stream pattern. There's a pretty big storm system that shapes up in the plains, but we have a 
big area of high pressure, a big ridge of high pressure building in the east. And that could help our high temperatures climb near 80 degrees by the time we get to the first weekend of November. Very mild to start November. The chance for rain tomorrow morning, 76 the high. More clouds on Wednesday should help to keep highs in the upper 60s. But Thursday looks pretty nice, 72, partly cloudy. Not bad for the first week of November. Once we get to Friday, Saturday, highs stay in the mid 70s. But we've got some upper 70s in sight by the end of the weekend. And don't forget, we fall back an hour this weekend. So those earlier sunsets are going to be creeping up on us. Make the most of this nice weekend.